Hi guys, I have not been on YouTube for absolutely ages. As you gather, I live in Scotland and the light is really bad at the moment at this time of year. Um, I've just managed to catch a clear sky at the moment in between the wind and rain. Um, now, I wanted to make this video because I got quite inspired by Cheryl Cole's kind of long volume bob um, when I saw it the other day. And today I'm going to be showing you how to go from this to this. Now recently Cheryl's been sporting a kind of shorter volume blunt look. Now I've tried to recreate this here using my hair straighteners and a set of deluxe extensions. This is my natural hair as you can see. It's um, a bit longer than hers. Hers is about here so I've got a couple of inches longer. Um, but I'm going to recreate this kind of blunt mega volume hair just now. Um, I'm going to be using um, my clip-in deluxe extensions. These have two wefts sewn together so it means that it's for mega deluxe volume and that's what we're going to be creating with this look. For this you're going to need your hair dryer, hair straighteners, hair brush, some clip-in extension, some hairspray and some gloss spray. This is how my hair looks naturally. Um, I have quite blunt ends now. I tend to trim them myself, which I probably shouldn't, and I'll just kind of snip in. I like having them quite blunt because it makes my hair look fuller. I'm going to start off, although my hair is dry, using the hair dryer just to lift this area and the top root of my hair. I want to create as much volume as I can at the root. Now you're going to be working on taking the back top section back because this gives the illusion of more volume. So I'm lifting it from the root and blasting it with a hot heat on the hair dryer. I've moved forward a bit now and I'm doing the same in the middle part of my head, working my way towards the front. And then again, lifting the root at the front fringe area. I'm again using the hair dryer to pull the hair out and give it a little bit of shape. Now that I've done that, I'm going to take the straighteners and I'm going to curl my hair. Now I'm going to be doing this in sections to create more volume. I'm going to be working from the underneath part of my hair up. So I'm sectioning off the area now and I'm going to start curling with the straighteners, wrapping round and pulling down. It's always best to use a protective serum or spray when you're going to be using heated appliances on your hair. I've sectioned a little further up now to start curling this area. For the back section, I'm going to be lifting and curling up and back the way to create some volume. Now I'm moving on to the mid section of my hair at the top and I'm going to do the same, curling it and lifting it up the way to create volume. Going to do that right to the front of my hair as well with the fringe. Fix your parting and blast with some hairspray. Next up, I'm going to add in some of my extensions, which I've curled with the straighteners separately. As I'm adding them for volume rather than length, I'm going to add them further up the back of my head. So I'm not going to start low like I normally do. I'm going to start halfway up my head from ear to ear and start clipping from there all the way up to the top of my head. 
I also want lots of volume at the sides so I'm using the two clip wefts to put on each side of my head, making sure I have enough hair on top to cover the wefts. going to take the back section of my own hair only and spray with a bit of hairspray and back comb. This is just going to give that extra lift at the roots and it'll also help hide cover any clips. I'm doing the same at each side of my hair as well. Remember it's only my own hair that I'm back combing because I don't want to damage the extensions by back combing them too much. At this stage I have my hair looking like this. As you can see there's a few scraggly ends from the hair extensions that aren't as blunt as my own hair so I'm just going to trim them off. Now be careful if you're going to try this yourself. I do recommend a hairdresser doing it. I just tend to be a little bit too comfortable with the scissors due to the fact that I use them to make dresses all the time. But I'm just trimming the ends and making sure that I have that kind of blunt look so it's nice and choppy and blends in well with my own hair. And this is what you should have now.